if, if you look at the N95 mask or the surgical mask, they would always have uh, two common non-wovens in them. One would be the filter layer, which is actually a melt-blown fabric. And then you would have the spun-bond fabric, which is not really the filter, but it su supports and, and provides uh, support for the melt-blown layer. So these are what, what are used uh, in, in all the PPEs that we have today. Um, we are fortunate to have large-scale pilot facilities, both for spun-bond as well as melt-blown. And also our spawn bond is actually quite unique. Uh, so we have quite a bit of capacity in terms of what we can do uh, to actually help uh, build filters. We can actually make a lot. Um, so typically we talk about uh, kilograms per hour or meters per hour. So we are roughly running right now about 2,000 meters an hour. And we're doing extended shifts. So we're doing 12 hour shifts. So in a day, we actually make about 20,000 meters of the, uh, the filter. Uh, we're trying to ramp up that and see if we can actually up the production because of the need that exists. And um, um, so with the classical masks, one meter would make 25 masks. So when you talk about uh, running at 40 meters a minute, that's basically a thousand would equal a thousand classical masks a minute. We have actually been working with a number of key partners in North Carolina who have the abilities to take these media and make them into masks. And so we are in dialogue with a number of them and this is going to happen very, very shortly. We actually looked at North Carolina and beyond in terms of what is missing. There's a shortage of automated capacity for making masks. And so the Non-Woven Institute, with help from the Keenan Institute, from the Provost's Office, from the Vice Chancellor for Research's Office, and the NC State community, we came together and actually ordered two machines. These machines uh, will be uh, delivered within three or four weeks, and um, we actually will set these up and we will take our own media and convert them into masks and then be able to provide masks to, to the local communities. I've never actually seen a community come together like, like we have. So, so we are in, in discussion with a number of uh, healthcare providers in North Carolina, but we'll also be talking to the DHHS, Department of Health and Human Services. North Carolina has the largest number of uh, non-woven companies in the nation, and so we are reaching out to them to see if they would also invest in converting machines we're investing in extra capacity. We're looking at possibly changing the way they're producing things so that we might be able to produce filters that would be useful during this crisis. Uh, so we're putting a lot of partnerships in place um, to be able to expand the uh, amount of materials that are available to us.